welcome viewers if still you're not subscribed to this channel kindly subscribe and also click the bell icon to get technology updates regularly on this JP Infotech channel hi in this video we are going to see about a python project which is entitled as efficient thyroid disease prediction using feature selection and meta classifiers which is an IEEE 2022 conference paper so before seeing the execution of the project, let me brief about this project. So the authors have proposed a model for predicting the thyroid disease. So due to the change in the human lifestyle, the thyroid disease is becoming a critical problem and also predicting this thyroid disease in the medical research is also a complex principle. But the machine learning methods are more powerful and also compact for the healthcare industry to handle the massive amount of healthcare records. So as a thing, the authors have proposed the this efficient thyroid disease prediction using ADA boost and bagging techniques. But we are not going to use the same as mentioned in the base paper. So now let us see the proposed model. So our proposed model is using decision tree classifier and the training accuracy that we have achieved is 100 percentage and the test accuracy that we have achieved is 97 percentage. So coming to the data set part. So in this data set we have 30, 30 attributes and the final 30th attribute is the target one and uh, other attributes let us see that or age sex on thyroxine chorine thyroxine on and thyroid medication sick pregnant thyroid surgery l131 treatment chori hypothyroid chori hypo hyperthyroid lithium geotrin tumor hypo Popularity, psych, TSH measured, TSH, T3 measured, T3, T T4 measured, T T4, T4U measured, T4U, FTI measured, FTI, TGB measured, TGB, referral source, and the final one is the class. So we have collected the data set from various sources. We have not used any particular data set here. So now let us show you the data set that we are going to use. So as mentioned, the attributes are given over the head and here you can see the complete data set. So this is the data set part. So before execution, make sure that you have fulfill the requirement that is mentioned in the requirement part and also installing the required libraries now let us see the execution of the project so just copy the source code location go to your command prompt go to the source code location type python app.py and click enter and wait for some time and after few minutes you can see this url just copy this url go to any of your browser i'm going to firefox and just paste this url that we have copied so now you can see the home screen or welcome screen of the project with the project title efficient thyroid disease prediction using feature selection and meta classifier so in the top you can see the login menu just click this login menu and it will be navigated to the login page and kindly note that this is a static login page because we have not used any database in the project so just enter the default username and password as admin and admin and then click the login button and once if you see the login success click ok and now it will be navigated to the upload part so in this upload part you need to upload the data set so just click the browse button now you can go to the source code location where you can see upload.csv file which i have shown you just click it and then click upload and now it will be navigated to the preview part where you can see the preview the data set that we have uploaded and you can see the things that I have already shown the data set in the excel format or csv format so you can scroll down till the end of the page and you can see the complete data set is being loaded into the preview part and now you can click the button click to try not test now 
now after few seconds you can see this training is finished message click ok now it will be navigated to the prediction part so in the prediction part now let us see few cases by giving the scenarios that we have trained up with the data set so now let me show you few test cases so first thing let me give the age as 41 success female and on athirat meditation falls sick is false pregnant is false thyroid surgery false L131 treatment is false. Cori hypothyroid is false. Cori hypothyroid is false. Lithium is false. Geotride is false. Tumor is false. Hypopopularity is false. Physic is false. TSH value is 1.3. T3 is 2.5. TT4 is 1 to 5. T4U is 1.14 and FTI is 109 now let me click the predict button and find the prediction result of is now you can see the prediction is empty one so now let me click the prediction button and now if you scroll down to the end of the page you can see the prediction is negative so now let me click the prediction button I menu again and let me enter some other case now let me enter the case for 76 6 as male on thyroxin as false and other things as false and let me go to the STSH value which is 3.2 T3 is 0 0.8 TTF TT4 is 101 T4U is 0 0.99 FTI is 103 sorry 103 and let me click the predict button and now you can see the prediction result is sick so again let me show you some other case so let me go to let me give the case as 27 6 as female and all other things remain the same as false let me go to TSH value. So now TSH value is 15. T3 is 1.6. TT4 is 82. T4U is 0 0.82. FTI is 100. Now let me check the prediction result of this. So the predicted result is negative. So finally let me go to the prediction menu again and let me give some other case as age as 24, sex as female, on thyroxine as true and all others remind as false again here and TSH value is 66, T3 as 1, TT4 as 112. T4 U as 1.01 .01 and FTI as 110 and then click the predict button and now you can see the prediction result as sick so as a scenario I have shown you with the few cases you can check with the other cases that is mentioned the test cases or in the train data set so now let me navigate to the performance analysis part So it will be navigated to the performance analysis part where you can see the recall F1 and precision values with the cases of negative and sick and also you can see the confusion matrix and final menu is the chart part and please note that this is a static chart as I mentioned that this does not contain any database so this is a static chart and this is not a dynamic one. So this chart has been depicted from the data set that we have trained up with. So which consists of our sick cases of 61.5 percentage and negative as 38.5 percentage which has been depicted in this chart part. And now let me log out.
and this is all about the project efficient thyroid disease prediction using feature selection and meta classifiers using python thank you all for watching